What's going on guys? It's Greg here, AKA NY Prepper. I'm here at the Flight 93 National Memorial. And what you're looking at here is the Visitor Center and Memorial Plaza. And I wanna just show you guys how beautiful it is over here. We're on the top of like this mountain. And for those of you guys who don't know, if you live in another country, Flight 93, is one of the planes during 9-11 that was supposed to hit some kind of target but thanks to some brave US military veterans on that plane they were able to thwart the plot by the terrorists and they crashed the plane here in Shanksville Pennsylvania in southwestern Pennsylvania, close to West Virginia. This is the Laurel Highlands region of Pennsylvania. And uh, just wanted to show you guys the memorial here because it's just gorgeous here. Beautiful memorial. It's actually like a huge park. They have hiking trails and stuff. So. that out guys so I'm gonna take a walk to the actual field now where flight 93 crashed so Memorial Day 2022 if it wasn't for those grave vets on that plane who knows how many people would have died they actually crashed that plane into another building somewhere. So, this is what they call the Memorial Plaza. And this is a national park, guys. It's run by the National Park Service. So, but it's just really beautiful here. And this isn't the field where the plane crashed. This is just uh, some field, but it's gorgeous here, nevertheless. This is just the visitor center here. All right guys, so we're at this overlook here, and down there is the Flight 93 crash site. Looks like there's a pheasant over here. Oh yeah, that looks like a pheasant. That's pretty interesting. In the grass over there. But this is what it looks like here, guys. There's just an overlook. You got your uh, visitor center here. Here's another look at the memorial here, guys. They did a really good job with this memorial. I didn't expect this when I came here. I thought it would just be like an open field, but it's like a legit national park here. Pretty cool.
So we were standing somewhere over here from that overlook and the debris field is over here and you could see the direction and then the trail that goes around and then down to the debris field. Over there guys there's what they call the memorial grove they have like 40 trees that they planted there native trees to Pennsylvania but it's just actually a gorgeous area here look at that view beautiful area like I said guys I thought that it would just literally be like a parking lot and a field you know where the crash site was I wasn't expecting this huge park so this is really cool I'm uh, very impressed I was pleasantly surprised so definitely worth coming out here if you're in Pennsylvania if you live in Pennsylvania or even if you're from New York City make a weekend trip out here while you're out here, you can check out some of the beautiful parks, do some hiking, camping, fishing, hunting, shooting, whatever you're into. Ride your ATVs. There's an ATV park right down the road from here. A huge ATV park. They have snowmobiling trails here. They have ski areas. So lots to do around here. You can make it a weekend trip. But... We're gonna drive down and try to get closer to the crash site now. All right guys, so the crash site is down here and we were standing up there before by the overlook. This is that humongous field over here. All right guys, so here's the actual crash site. Right over here, this field that you're looking at. This is where Flight 93 crashed. And they're actually using that sandstone boulder out there as a marker. And uh, you can see all the hemlock trees over there. The hemlocks are actually a state tree of Pennsylvania. That's the official state tree of Pennsylvania. Eastern Hemlock. But this is the Flight 93 crash site here. Pretty crazy. It looks sort of like kind of boggy actually, like kind of a wetland area. Not so much like a dry field like you would think. There's actually a deer down there at the edge of the forest but this is where all those people died and flight 93 was supposed to go to San Francisco they took off from New Jersey and they were supposed to go to San Francisco and then at some point in western Pennsylvania when they were over Western PA close to the Ohio border. That's when the terrorists Took over the plane and hijacked it and they turned the plane around and they were going towards The Washington DC area nobody knows exactly what their target Was gonna be but many people think it was the US Capitol So, you know, it would have just been another 30 minutes or so from here and they would have already reached 
the capital because planes fly at 500 miles an hour so they were really close to hitting their target and if it wasn't for the brave men on board flight 93 the military veterans that had the guts to take on the armed hijackers with nothing but their bare hands then who knows how many more people would have died on 9-11 and who knows what kind of damage would have happened to our country I mean if they hit the US Capitol that would have been really bad they would have killed a lot of our senators and basically decapitated our government you know that would be catastrophic so thank God for those brave men on board flight 93 following in the footsteps of their forefathers who sacrificed in World War II and other wars around the world fighting for freedom. So the boulder marks the location of the crash site. 17 ton piece of sandstone. You can see the hemlocks behind it. It's just crazy how this random field is now a national memorial. It's pretty crazy. So this is the actual crash site again, guys. There's that boulder down there, the hemlocks. It's just beautiful area. There's the wall of names, all the people that were on board. That's where we were earlier up there. Just look at this scenery here. Gorgeous.